It's two time for traffic and weather together with storm tracker for meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Shay, you are tracking that rain for us and you have the radar pulled up behind you. Yes, that is right. We are drying out very quickly though. So for your morning commute, some wet roadways, but that's really going to be the only impact. Not even much ponding just because this rainfall has been relatively light. We're talking trace amounts to a tenth of an inch for the 12 hour rainfall totals. And as you can see, we're losing that moisture quickly, so not expecting to pick up much more. We've also seen some um, high elevation snow. Looks like Summer Haven picked up less than a half inch, mainly on cold surfaces. So if you're waking up in Summer Haven, let us know what you are seeing. Uh, current temperatures mainly in the 30s and 40s. It's actually a little bit warmer compared to this time yesterday, so not a terrible start, but still cold out there, so you'll want to bundle up. Today's high is pushing into the upper 50s and low 60s. Tonight, a little bit colder, most of us dropping into the mid to upper 30s. To the south and east, mainly in the 50s today with overnight lows, 20s and 30s. So a little bit colder again tonight into early tomorrow morning. This is a system that brought some light rainfall late last night into this morning and some light high elevation and snow as well. That tracks out of here. The rest of the day will be dry and most of Wednesday will be dry as well, but we're tracking yet another system that's going to pass through Wednesday night through Thursday, and that's going to bring us some additional valley rain and mountain snowfall and also really cold temperatures. That system tracks out of here. We'll dry out most of Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday we have another system that will pass through, and this is going to bring potentially even more significant valley rain, mountain snow, and even colder temperatures, if you can imagine. So we'll take a look at that coming up, but tracking valley rain again that time frame Wednesday night through Thursday and then again Sunday through Monday morning. Here's a look at the impacts. Wet roads, a little bit of ponding possible. Maybe some low visibility too with some of the heavier showers. Valley totals ranging anywhere between a quarter of an inch and an inch of rainfall. And that's with those two systems combined. So uh, we're looking at some pretty decent rainfall over the next seven days, especially here in eastern Pima County to the south and north where you see that blue. That's approaching an inch of rainfall. Lighter totals farther to the west. So far western Pima County, maybe just trace amounts to a tenth of an inch. Most of Cochise County at least picking up over a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rainfall. We're also tracking some mountain snow as well in that same time frame Wednesday night through Thursday and then again Sunday through Monday morning. Uh, as we work our way towards Wednesday night and Thursday, um, we could see up to six inches of snowfall above 7,000 feet, so we may even see some advisories go into effect at some point tomorrow. Snow level down to about 5,000 feet by Thursday night. The question is, will we still have enough moisture to work with? Places like Bisbee, if we do have some moisture to play with, Oracle potentially to too. maybe seeing a little bit of light snowfall even for you all. And then as we work our way towards Sunday, we could see at least over four inches above 6,000 feet. And then the snow level by Monday morning dropping below 4,000. That means places like Tucson potentially could see a little bit of a dusting, but same problem. Will we have enough moisture to work with by Monday morning as that snow level drops? So we will continue to keep you updated as we get closer, but temperatures are also getting much, much colder. Here's a look at your 10 day tracker mid fifties for your Thursday and Friday overnight low Friday and Saturday morning dropping down to the freezing mark here in Tucson. That means teens and 20s to the south and east. We'll have another round of showers Sunday into Monday and then check out Monday's high. We're only pushing into the upper 40s and if that holds up, that will be the coldest day of the season so far. And then the overnight low into next Tuesday, upper 20s here in Tucson. So it is going to get frigid all across southeastern Arizona. Temperatures gradually warming into the upper 50s by next Wednesday and Thursday. And then we have another chance for showers next Thursday. Let's